What's going on, boys and girls? We're going to be doing a simple, and I do mean simple, beef rib recipe. You know, I've done them before where I've made the dry rub and all that. We're just going to be using um, maybe two to three uh, things in this actual beef rib recipe. I think you'll like it. Uh, if you don't actually have any Tony Saturies, um, um, uh, you can order that stuff. You can order it on Amazon if you need to go out and get you some. But it's a really, really... Um, a, seasoning that you can use now it does have a little bit of a kick to it so if you don't like spicy stuff don't use tony saturates but it's a, it's an all all meat um you can use it on any type of meat and it gives it a really good taste and you don't have to really add any anything to it so so try to find you some of that but again make it how you want to make yours you know you don't have to use the spices i use on mine i'm just i've been successful using these spices so let's do it it's gonna be a short video i hope all right, here we go. We got two slabs of beef ribs, and guys, these things have gone up. These two slabs cost me about sixteen bucks. I used to be able to buy these things a couple of years ago. Um, they would be a, they would be half the price. You know, it'd be eight bucks or four four dollars per slab. It's doubled literally. Again, simple seasonings: Tony Satry, some Italian seasoning, some Creole mustard. Now, first thing we got to do on one side of this, there's a little layer. Whoops, we don't want that up there. This, Oh, this one's already been taken off. Oh, nice. Usually, but this one hasn't. You see the difference between this one and here? This one's got the little fibrous layer. You want to take that off. Now, you don't have to, but that one's already been taken off. So, we're going to take this one off, and then we're going to show you how to put the, the, the mustard up there. Which you just you just spread it up there and um, throw them in the oven. Now, for those of you who've never done this before, you want to kind of find you the edge here. And sometimes it... it helps to get you a paper towel and so you want to pull this lining off of here and it goes all the way across the meat and again some folks say you can leave it up there but it really does make a big difference if you take that lining off y'all it makes the meat a little bit more tender and you just want to get it all off for the most part again the other one some of them some of them they take them off at the store like on that other piece there we'll get this off here and again a paper towel works real well and letting you get a little bit more grip to it which I'm not really there we go get it all off. some folks don't like touching meat but heck I ain't one of those folks so okay there we go So the first thing we want to do is mustard once go ahead and mustard one side that's my oven we got the oven set at 300 degrees now in my last video we did 275 degrees and cooked it for about four hours we're going to do 300 this time and see if it can up the cooking time it's still going to be tender we're going to take some of our italian seasoning put it all over it like this y'all spread it on both parts here and then we're going to get our foil out when we flip it, and then we'll do the other side on the foil. Now, here comes our sneeze stuff. This is the Tony Satchers. It makes me sneeze every time. I try not to record the sneeze, but and you can be kind of liberal with this right here. I mean, don't, don't, don't darken it with it, but you can be kind of liberal with it. So, All right, and that's all we're going to put on it, guys. And then we're going to, again, we're going to get some foil, flip it over, and then do the other side the same way. Okay, now that's a long piece of foil here. This foil is probably about two and a half feet. Um, but you want to keep it long because you're going to cover up that. And I've done both sides here. So we're going to take our foil. Go one down that way. And we're going to go back this other way as well too. Lift it up. And make sure, make sure you fold this part up. Cause we don't want the ju you don't want to fold it down because the juices will run down so you know uh, and then just put it in the appropriate <clears throat> container here and we're going to do the same thing for the other piece y'all and, and again it's the exact same process so i'm not going to show it on video all righty we're going to put those both on a cookie sheet here again with the foil up put them in the oven 300 degrees and it should be about three hours maybe three and a half hours Alrighty, so it's been about three hours here, y'all. Take them out. They're done. When you can see the bones like that, they are done. 
Now, as far as sauce is concerned, um, I do sauce sometimes, but most of the time the ribs come out so good that you don't need to do any kind of sauce with them. So this is it. This is the, the beef ribs here. We're going to take a picture of them, and we're going to eat. There you go, guys and gals. Just to show you how tender they are, we'll get a knife here. Cut right through it. I'm doing this one-handed, too. Look at that. Shows you how tender these things are and how nice and look at that. So the bones are coming out. So that's how you cook them. Real easy to do it, guys. Just uh, you don't have to do a whole lot of crazy stuff to cook ribs. You just prepare them and um, give it a few hours, 300 degrees. Cook them, eat them, enjoy them. So hopefully, if you like this video. Uh, give me a like, uh, share it with your friends, Get uh, hit the little bell to get notifications if, if you're on that type of platform, and give us a comment and let, you, let us know how you think we're doing. So have a great one. Peace.